What is up, and it's gonna go Supsy here, and welcome to my last, sadly, episode of my Let's Play Game of Thrones Total War House Renly Baratheon campaign. Now, we're currently besieging Na uh, Maidenpool with Jamie Lannister and uh, Rickard. Then we have uh, Ben over here attacking the Rook's Crest with uh, just a Captain Donald. Got more troops coming from. troops coming from Stoned. Stone Dance, Dragonstone, and even Fall. We got more troops coming in from there. We got some more troops coming out from King's Landing and Rosebury to kind of aid them. So um now, a couple of things happened. All kind of guessed it. Uh, Rickard is now crowned of Westeros, so he's the king of Westeros at the moment. So where's the scribe? So now, evidently, because the Greyjoys. And the Starks have uh, rose up in rebellion. We're actually at war with them still. So uh, that's why that's there. The Tyrells actually were allies with the Starks and the Greyjoys. But they actually broke their alliance with the Greyjoys and the Starks to um, joy fealty to me, which is interesting. <laughs> kind of cool. I'm not going to play these battles because um, I simply don't want to, to be honest. And uh, I did say after I finish off House Stannis, I will uh, finish the campaign. So in the next episode, there will be a starting of a new campaign, which I haven't decided yet. So next video you see will be a Game of Thrones, Westeros, Song of Ice and Thire uh, themed game. But um, yeah, as you see there, it's the end of the campaign. So now that I've finished, I'm just going to quickly do a recap. And uh, I could even put the save in the description. You guys can download it. And uh, yeah. So, let's have a look at the family tree. So, why not? There's Rickard there. His son didn't come of age. And we still didn't get to see if they were actually Jamie Lannister's sons and daughters. So, you know, I don't... I think it'd be kind of tedious if we send Aaron off to the Vale. Well, this is what could have happened. That was my plan. I was going to send Jamie Lannister. Take out the last of the Lannisters. Make them bend the knee. And then send Ricard north. But I reckon it's time for a new faction. Uh, we played this for a while. I think we need something a little bit new. So It's kind of cool starting off with the Stormlands. And then slowly, slowly getting uh, bigger. And then we took out the Martells later on. So actually, um, we're pretty much done. Uh, you want you can have a look at Ricard's stats. And uh, Jamie's stats if you want to have a look. Hang on. And I'm about to look at the toggle phone and see how re the rest of the world ends up. So let's have a look. Um, I might pick this up again later. No, yeah, I reckon I might pick this up campaign later up. Depending on how the next campaign goes. But anyway, just a suggestion really. Hmm, so let's have a look at the world. I reckon uh, Renly would have been proud of this campaign. Sadly, he died uh, pretty early on. But, hey, there's the family tree. I'm, what I was really surprised about in this campaign the most was uh, most definitely House Joffrey uh, getting wiped out rather quickly, to be honest, by Stannis and Stannis taking up this. With no help from me, uh, I didn't even uh, draw blood against Joffrey's house, to be honest. So, let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, to the Tullys are pushed back to Harrenhal. That's interesting. Hmm. The Arryns... Now, that was another thing I was really surprised about. The Arryns actually declared war on the Tullys, even though Robert Arryn is half Tully because of Lysa. But, um... Yeah. The Lannisters, as well, I was kind of expected about that because... They had no, uh, the Tyrells had no attack from the uh, Martells, and they pretty much had free roam over the Lannisters, so they've taken, they, the Tyrells actually own Castelli Rock and Lannisport, which is interesting. Um, they've only got three settlements. Oh, the Greyjoys actually hold River Run. That's, and the Crag, Ben Fort. Wow, they've got a lot of troops here on the bloody Iron Islands. Hang on a second. Oh, Aaron. Okay. I was. I was that's a th 
Oh, they could have recruited. I was going to say, because <laughs> if that was one of their ships, they would have had to sail all the way around, down and up, which they didn't. Um, They are the twins. They were at war with the Starks, weren't they? Yeah. Let's have a look at the Starks. How are they going? How'd they go? They, they lost. I think they lost the twins, but they haven't really moved. Hmm. It would be kind of interesting how it develops because if um if I was to continue the campaign, I would probably make a move on Harrenhal, take out the Tullys, then I would help the Tyrells get rid of the last of the Lannisters and push the Greyjoys back to the Iron Islands. If they bent the knee, I'd let them be there because they rose up against Joffrey, not me. Uh, oh, but then Joffrey's supposedly a Baratheon, but. And then once I'd done that, I would probably make the Arons bend the knee. Oh, the Arons actually didn't declare. They just picked a side, I think. So um, I'll probably... Uh, where is he? Yeah, they haven't declared their own kingship. I'll try... I'll sue for peace, to be honest. I'll, uh, and then I'll take out the Arons, cross them, maybe make them a vassal. Or even the Starks. But, um, let's actually have a look at the Starks. White... White and King in the North. Really? Hang on a second, I've got an assassin at Harrenhal. Hmm. Who else is there? Halla Snow, some bastard. Um. I would imagine that, like, um, uh, John Umba, Carl Stark, and Bolton would be dead by now. Just because of how old they are. But that's how the world developed. So, um. We didn't do the... Vi what were the victory conditions? Hang on. Uh, hang on. I'm just going to end the turn. Just to see what the victory conditions were. Because I can't really remember. I think it was... Mustn't be too much. Except that we attack our Stark. That's pretty funny. If it's a little bit laggy, I do apologise because I've actually decided after this I'm actually going to watch some uh, Game of Thrones. I feel like watch... Wow. Whoa, what the hell's this? Regicide. My father is naughty. Kill him. Okay. Yeah, so if it's kind of ah, if it's kind of a bit laggy, I'm actually putting a nine gig. I am <laughs> okay. So I'm recording on my computer to my hard drive with the clips are going. Then I have my USB in my computer in my computer. So I'm moving. I'm taking off my hard drive onto my USB. So here's the anyway. So that's why it might be a little bit laggy. Well, the frame rate probably dropped a little bit there. King of Storm's End. You were declared crown of king at the Storm's End. Your victory condition of change. You must. Yeah. There's all that if you want to have a look at it. But yeah. The Tyrells must be happy because... Oh, yeah, it's gotten worse. I said the Tyrells must be happy because... Uh, they're... Because that's... Yeah, that's Marjorie. So Marjorie... Yeah. Because he's, he's half Baratheon, half Tyrell. So he's so... Jamie's son is third Lannister. Third Barat... Third... You know, half Baratheon, half Lannister, and then a little bit Tyrell. So, um, let's actually do that mission. It was to take out that guy, wasn't it? Yeah. Mission successful. Okay, that's interesting. So, what do we want, like, good relations with the... I've never, I haven't seen that before. That's rather interesting. Wouldn't have mattered anyway because we would have taken the map. So there's the map. So I'm actually going to the, the episode here. Really hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. I had a lot of fun. That was my first Game of Thrones uh, Let's Play. So after this, I'm actually going to watch some uh, Game of Thrones Season 1 and Season 2. I'm going to have a <laughs> finish off the night with that. And uh, yeah. There'll be. So the next. Tomorrow, I will start a new campaign. But, uh, like I said, I haven't decided what yet. But it's definitely going to be a Song of Ice and Fire, Westeros, or Game of Thrones. What's so. up? Without further ado, I really hope you enjoy this series, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Simpsy. I'm out, ladies, my friends. Goodbye.
Hey guys, just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I've posted a video, uh, giveaways coming up, and also when I'm playing subscribers. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel. So thanks, guys. Bye.